So, welcome to this video tutorial for App Splash. This is the custom design tutorial. We're going to show you how to add custom layouts and also use the HTML elements. So today we're going to be working with the Camden Coffee House app. So this app already has um, it has a standard design which is very much in keeping with the, the client's website. So brown background, orange highlight colour and, uh, and some white text. But now we're going to go beyond these, these basic settings and we're going to build the custom skin. So to do this you can download the sample kit that it uh, comes with or you can have a look at some other icon sets here in the in the icon set and guideline box or if your designer knows what he's doing you can use Apple and Android guidelines uh, and upload exact icons that uh, match the brand. So for now I've downloaded the sample kit and I've just uploaded a header bar a list row, I've picked a bunch of icons uh, and what's important about these icons is they're going to follow um, in particular Apple's guidelines and they'll light up with the right colours um, if the transparency is done correctly so they'll look a lot more sophisticated than if you were to just cut um, a two coloured image and put that in your in your footer bar this, this will look like a, a proper native app so once the custom skins in place we can go a little bit further we can also look at custom layouts. So these custom layouts are very interesting because the standard templates all come with things like the photo and the, the, the phone number button in a, in a particular place. But your client might want to move things around on the page or add extra buttons. You can do that now with a custom layout. And to edit this text, uh, you just have to look at the text box here. Now, you can lay that out in a HTML text editor, or you can write in here, or you can most likely get the HTML from your designer and just paste it in the box here. We've given you some variables to play with. So for the place feature, there is the name, the description, the phone number. Uh, and for those who, who do use HTML, you'll notice we've created our own variable names here. So app splash variable and the variable name. There's also some color tags, background color, headline color. So as long as you use these tags instead of just the colors of, of, of you know, red, brown, then if your client updates their colors through App Splash, this feature will pick up those changes. So for this example, uh, I'd quite like to put maybe a second button here and, uh, and play around with this image here. So I've put some HTML in here, and I'm going to update that and see what happens. So there we go, we've managed to get a photos button on here that'll link natively onto the photos feature. Call button, I've changed the size. And one other request from the client was that he was quite keen to have a specific picture on here. So you'll notice from his website, there's an image here. It's kind of a map of the, of the coffee shop. Well now that's gonna be on his place page. So it's gonna look like a nice native feature. And we've done that with the, with the places layout. Just a word on this photos button here, if you look further down the page, there's two interesting features here. So place link to feature and place link to item. So these are important when you want to link through to other content in the app. So here we've linked through to photos, all I've done is use that tag there. And just to show you how that works, we'll go into the place content. So for Camden, you'll notice lower down the page. It says link to feature and link to item. So this is just saying which extra variables do you want to link to. You've got options, so in here in this particular app we've got audio, video and photos. We're linking to photos and we can link, we can actually deep link all the way down into a particular photo. You then update that. You can set that for each item which is nice. And if we go back to the custom layout you'll see that this photos is because of the app splash link to feature so let's just set that and let's look at the next designer feature so the next interesting designer feature is called HTML page list this lets you put pages of any HTML you like in in the app but they will render natively so you're in a native list nice look and feel very interactive but then the item page will be laid out exactly how you want so in this case we've chosen to redo the food and drink menu with HTML layouts 
So here we go. We've got a, a coffee coffee uh, feature. You've got an image, some text, and what, what's nice actually is that from the client's website, you'll see here he's linked through to has been coffee within the text of, of his um, of his food and drink menu. So we've managed to achieve the same thing. And there's a hyperlink there, so the page in the app will link through. And because we've used App Splash highlight color here, it's going to pick up whatever highlight colors in the app. So no need no need to change this page if you change your colors later down the line. And you'll see a similar thing has been done for tea, but if the client wants to change the layout of this image, it's all there in the HTML. So all standard HTML can be dropped into here. And again, you can link to items, different items within here as well if you, if you wanted to. So I could link through to the coffee grinds image if I wanted. So those are HTML pages. Uh, you can have as many pages as you like in a list, and they will render just like any other list within App Splash in the app. Now, sometimes you don't want a list to load. You just want a page to come up, maybe an information page. And for that, you can use HTML groups. HTML groups here, when you, when you add a page, um, it'll come here on, on this display. You can link them together. That's why it's a group, so you could link from a start page through to a more more information page and, and keep going and go forwards and backwards. Here we've just got a, a basic page and it's quite cute. The client wanted to have some reviews on here. It's got his kite timeout reviews. So we've managed to create a page in the app that looks very very nice, very mobile friendly and on brand. And again that's just HTML in, in here. We go back to our page group. And actually, just going back to the page list for a second, you'll notice that when you add a new page, it comes straight off the shelf with the colors, and it comes with some, some text fonts, and it actually comes with a nice mobile button for you to play around with. So this button will come up native. Um, it's been created using CSS, but it looks native. So we advise that you try and reuse this chunk of code uh, down below where you can. So let's see where those HTML pages were. Just when you want to add them to your apps, just go to Features, Customize Template, and inside the Designer Features here, you'll see HTML Page Group and HTML Page List. Also, while you're in here, you'll notice that there's some features down below. You can lock a tab if you only want to have four out of five tabs, or you can use the More tab. All you do is drag that into the fifth spot and the app will come with um, a more section and you can add as many more features as you like. So a little bit more there so you go to the more tab and you can add more features. So here this app's got a social feature and a photos feature they'll come up on that fifth tab. And we recommend you put any ancillary features here that you really don't need to draw attention to. Things like photo galleries and social feeds very good to put there. Um, things like store finders and maybe loyalty cards you want to keep out in front where, where the user sees them straight away. And one final thing um, while we're on the topic of designer lists, let's go back to the to the features section. Uh, and let's just look for a moment at the categorized list. So we often get asked, well, I've got a food food and drink menu. Uh, I'd really like to split that out as one feature, but to, to have food as one tab and then and then the drinks as another. So you'd use the categorized list. I'm going to drop that in as the second feature. I'll just fill up this toolbar. There we go. And now we've got a custom list. So I'm just going to show you how, how to use a custom list. The first thing you do is you, you create the custom list and we're going we're gonna to create some database space for you. And you'll be able to do a lot of powerful things with this. You'll be able to add categories and, and different list fields. So the first category will be food.
and we're going to take the flapjack photo for the category you can add a description but we don't really need to and later you'll be able to change the sort order position if your client wants to move things up and down on this list I'm going to add another category for drink and I'm going to choose a coffee cup for a category image there so now we can drill down to the next level and manage the items within the drinks and this is where because it's a custom list we get to choose the fields so out of the box App Splash gives you an image field, a title, a description and behind the scenes an ID and a category but for this I want to add other fields so I'm going to add the strength for my coffees and I, maybe I'm going to add the price so using these fields you can create lists of absolutely anything which means you can have fully customized lists for any industry now that I've created those fields I can add an item and App Splash is going to remember that I've asked to have a strength field and a price field so I have my first coffee I'm going to call that one a latte and I'm going to say that that's a weak coffee and I'm going to put the price in here I'm now going to add another list item with a different strength I'm going to use the same image for this demo this could be a ristretto and I'm just going to say that this one is a stronger coffee so there we've got two two items in this list they've got custom fields so this is how to use a custom list um, and by combining custom lists custom layouts um, and custom skins you'll be able to make an app that's fully on brand and goes way beyond the standard template apps that are out there in the market. So that's AppSplash um, designer tools and um, I hope that you found this useful.